Hey guys, this is Tisha again. If you're new here, I post a lot of fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. And today we have a Gymshark haul. Since in-person workouts have started, I really want to douche up my workout outfits. There's something about wearing like cute and cinched outfits during a workout. I don't know, it's just boosts the morale and also makes workout much more fun. I think I'm just looking for reasons to shop and give into this whole never-ending loop of capitalism. So let's get started. First up is this camo set. I got both the bra and the leggings in size medium. The bra has wrap design on the front and the back is a whole lot of craziness, but it does feel very comfortable. There are no adjustable straps and it has removable padding. The logo is on the side as well as on the back, but it's really subtle. It's not screaming like Gymshark. One thing I really like about this top is the length. It can pass as a crop top as well, so I don't really have to wear something on the top. I can actually just wear this and go for my workout and on the side it doesn't really give me that much of the side boob like how the top gets digged in and this gets popped a little bit on the side so there is a little bit it's not like there isn't at all but it's not that prominent and also the same thing with the back as well the strap of the back dig in as well because of which this thing on the side like protrudes outward but it's still not that bad According to the website, this one is medium coverage. When I was jumping around, it did feel very comfortable. It kept my boobs in place and also it did not restrict movement. So the leggings are high-waisted and it has a long waistband, which I do prefer. On the front, there is no camel toe and the length ends where the ankle is, which is my preference. Earlier when I was jumping around, the leggings did stay in place. It did not ride down. The main reason why I got this legging was because of this back cinching. Uh, action, but I don't really think it's doing much. So now let's do the squat test. From this set, I think I'm gonna keep this sports bra. The leggings is definitely gonna go back. Even though I like the fit, I just can't get over the whole scrunchy thing on the back. Ended up getting another camo set, and this one, I am so obsessed with this color. This is such a pretty blush pink color. The top is different design than the earlier one. This one is razorback style and has ruching on the front, like similar to how there is ruching on the butt. <laughs> this one has ruching on the front as well as the back. Similar to the previous one, this one does not give muffin top. Overall, I really like the sports bra, and I think I'm a bit biased as well just because of the color. So the leggings are exactly the same style as the green camo leggings. I just end up getting in a different color. Again, this one is high-waisted. The length ends at the ankle. There is no camel toe and there is Gymshark logo on the side and this one is white in color. So it really complements the pink color. I was thinking the ruching on the back would look much more better with this one since it's light in color but my opinion still remains the same. I am still not a fan of this ruching detail on the back. One thing I did notice with this one is you can see underwear lines. I'm wearing no-show undies from Victoria's Secrets and those are the ones that it's seamless, does not have any stitching or elastic and even with that, you can still see the lines. The other thing to keep in mind is not to wear dark color underwear with this one since this is light in color. I would recommend you to wear like nude color or white color undies. From this set, same as earlier, I think I'm going to keep the bra and return the leggings. I like the fit. More than the fit, I love the color. It's just this, again, the ruching detail on the back that I can't get over. So next up is this training sports bra. I got this in color gray and in size medium. I do think I have to size up on this. So the top squeezes the chest and the side bulges out. Same thing on the back as well. These sides, again, bulges out quite a lot. The front has ruching detail, which I love. And the back is crisscross with adjustable straps. This one has uh, removable cups as well. Material-wise, it feels very smooth, buttery, and is really affordable. According to the website, this one is for low-intensity workout. But when I was jumping around earlier, I think I can wear this for my HIIT workouts as well. Once I size up, everything will fall in place. The quality and price, I think this one is a steal. I got the training leggings in dark green color to match with this top. The price for this legging, I have to like look at it twice because it's so affordable. It is $30, again, same price as the sports bra, which is weird. According to the website, it says it is high rise, but I think this is mid rise. Um, when you pull it up to make it a high rise, it does give a bit of camel toe. And once, like when you're jumping around and doing some kind of exercise, it does ride down. Once it rides down, it sits exactly on my belly button, and after that, there is no camel toe. 
Material wise is very similar to the uh, training sports bra. It's very soft and buttery. Like the leggings feels like second skin is that soft. Length, it again ends at the ankle, the length that I prefer. The Gymshock logo is on the front on the side here as well as on the back. So now let's do the squat test. These leggings do pass the squat test. One thing is when you're squeezing your butt, like let's say when you're doing the swing workouts or any workouts where you have to squeeze in your butt, it does show all the dimples and everything. I don't think it's, it's a big deal. This one, I'm planning to return it mainly because of the rise. I'm not a big fan of mid-rise. It's just, for some reason, just having a high-rise kind of boosts my morale. <laughs> high-rise, I feel like it flatters my body type. I just don't feel that comfortable with mid-rise or low-rise low in general. Next up is this Flex Strappy Sports Bra. This one, again, I got in size medium. This sports bra has their signature contouring. They got viral a couple of years ago because of the contouring sports bra and leggings. And I always wonder how it would look on me because I've never tried it on before. I do really like the contouring on the sports bra and the different shades of purple. It complements each other so well. And I do appreciate the darker shade of color on the strap area as well. It just gives a nice contrast this one has adjustable straps and removal cups one of the removal cups the one on the left hand side is like dented um while shipping i think got like folded there's gymshark logo on the front the front one is really subtle you, you can't really see it and on the back the gymshark logo is massive typically i'm not a big fan of massive logos but with this one with different shade of color Actually, I don't mind it. The only thing is the straps on the front. It kind of pokes a little bit and I can already see like red marks here. I don't know if I should just exchange. I'd get a different piece to see if, if I got unlucky with this piece and see how the other one fit. I think most likely I'm gonna do that because I do really like the fit. It was pretty affordable and I do really like the contrast as well. So I think I'm going to get a different piece. I ended up getting their matching flex legging as well. This one is again in size medium. The legging is high rise and then when I was jumping around, it did not slide down. This one has no camo toe, which is good. The length again ends at the ankle. The legging has their signature contouring. The side contouring, I actually like it. I like the contrast of the color and the contouring merges in slowly and then again merges out. I don't know how I feel about the butt contour. I've seen this kind of leggings previously and I always wonder how it look on me because for other girls it looks really good. But with this one, I guess these leggings look good when you're like flexing or like posing. But when you're just standing still, I don't know, it kind of looks weird. Just a big patch on the middle. <laughs> looks like monkey butt. So let's do the squat test now. It is squat proof. Legging is really comfortable. It is high rise, does not ride down. It feels smooth as well. It's just the back again, same as the camo leggings where those designs are there to emphasize your back area. It's just, I don't know, I am not feeling it. This set is definitely way too much logo for me. I feel like I'm a walking billboard for Gymshark. It's like too much on the back, on the front. I would definitely wear this separately, not together. I got a flex spots bra again in size medium and this one is in dark green merle color the spots bra has their signature contouring style very similar to the purple one i do like the contouring on both the spots bra the other ones i tried on were comfortable but all of them were a tad tight this one fits right even though it's not as tight compared to the other ones when i was jumping around Everything stayed in place. It's really comfortable. This flex sports bra has removable cups and the back is razor back style and has a cute cutout. And even the back has contouring as well. If I pair this with like a solid color legging, this Gymshark logo wouldn't be that emphasized. I got their flex shorts in size medium. Even when I was jumping around, this one did not slide down. Not just the top, but even this one, it did not ride up. It did stay in place. This one has a signature contouring on the side as well as the back. For the back, actually, I don't mind it. Since this light material is not throughout, I don't think like the patch is that prominent. These shorts are pretty comfortable. I bought this to wear it for my spin classes. I don't know if I can wear it for my, well, I could wear it for my hip classes as well, but I don't think I've reached that comfort level yet. Shorts aren't really my thing. 
yet. I'm trying to introduce shorts slowly back into my closet just because I'm so conscious about my leg. But I do know for summertime, shorts are a must because leggings, even though it looks great, feels great, during summertime when it's like hot and humid, it's not really practical. So this is it for today's video. Do let me know in the comments below which pieces were your favorite. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and support the channel. My Instagram is Tisha Shrestha and I will see you guys next week. Bye!